Today we are discussing WhatsApp etiquettes. Have you been there when you started focusing on some task and then your mess phone started buzzing like don't 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 don't. Yes, you have been there. I have been there. We all have been there. So today we are discussing what to do and what not to do on WhatsApp. My name is Shami. Welcome to my channel. And without further ado, let's dive in. Tip number one: basic manners. When you are trying to communicate to someone for work, ask them before you do so. Some people are, might not be comfortable to communicate via WhatsApp. Normally, emails are the standard communicating communicating factors. And uh, if they're not comfortable via WhatsApp, don't do that. But if they say yes, go ahead, and you know what to do. Also, when you into add someone to a group, please introduce them. It's important to introduce to someone who comes into a new group, so it is equally important on WhatsApp group. Tip number two is group size. Group size matters. If it's a five to ten people group, it's okay. But if it's like 50 other people and they are messaging back and forth, it is annoying sometimes. So what happens? Two people are generally busy. They mute this kind of group uh, usually. But if you don't want them to mute the group, try to send a message in one block and only say about work matters. So they know it is super important to get the notification. If they feel like it is not important and you are bothering them with your messages or flooding them with messages, they will mute the group instead. Tip number three: short-term group and long-term group. Sometimes we are organizing an event and that becomes a short-term group because this is not the main group. This is the group is created only for that particular event. When the event is over, leave the group or you delete the group. It's better. Otherwise, people will have so many groups and they start communicating in different different groups, and you will not have any track of the group. Tip number four is content of the group. Sometimes we have a work group and sometimes we have an unofficial group. So leave the unofficial matter for unofficial group and don't discuss anything irrelevant in the work group. So with the name of the group, we are not confused what to do in that group. And if you are a participant in a group, you are not the creator. Before you send a message, you try to read that message and their guideline, which is generally uh, prescribed in the described in the description box of the group. And you go there and you read the group uh, details, and then you will know what to do and what not to do. If it's a large group, normally it's a small group. There is no guideline, but you can always uh, have your sixth sense and uh, common sense to apply in this regard. Tip number five is timings of the messages. Sometimes we send a message at two in the morning to somebody. Do you really think it is appropriate to send a message at two in the morning for some work-related matter? You can do that in the morning, or you can do that in the evening or before work hour finishes. For instance, I work with some group of people, and uh, they're generally active in the late night, so I don't mind when they send me a message. But if somebody out of that group send me a message at 11 p.m. or two in the morning, I'll be super annoyed. So there are a lot of people who gets annoyed. Sometimes they don't express, but they have a negative impression about you that you have no common sense about the timing or whatsoever. Tip number six: reply expertly. People are trying to communicate via WhatsApp because it's an instant message in app, and they are trying to receive an instant reply from you. If it's an email, you can wait for a day or a half a day. But if it's in WhatsApp message, try to reply quickly. Because they're expecting a quick reply, but if you are expecting some unnecessary reply during a work hour at a heavy schedule time, busy time, it's not appropriate of you or nice of you. So try to keep in mind that you are trying to communicate via WhatsApp to a professional. Only send the necessary words and only send the necessary stuffs, and they can see it. You are not killing a lot of time and giving them quick reply. I try to reply quickly, but sometimes if somebody is trying to bother me with a lot of messages, unnecessary messages, I don't reply quickly because they need to understand they are they are killing my time during my work hour. Tip number seven is avoid private conversation in a formal group. Sometimes we have friends or family in a formal group, and there we are not just supposed to discuss our private matters. But sometimes we don't keep in mind, and we start talking about our private matters. For instance, we have a dinner plan, and we are talking about our dinner in that formal group. You don't have to do that. You can talk to that about the dinner plan in a private message. You can directly message them. You can call them, and you can do that. So avoid any kind of personal communication, personal or private matters in a formal group or any kind of formal group. Tip number eight is stop flooding messages. We sometimes send messages like, "Hi, we need to talk. We need to dis discuss this. Is it okay?" And we send all these separate messages, and their mobile is like. 
tung 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 it is annoying if you have to say something you can draft one single message and you can say pretty much anything for instance i am sending a message to a colleague of mine i am saying hi i need to talk to you and i wanted to discuss this 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 and do you think it is okay i am expecting a reply from you please reply me at your convenience and this can be only one message so we are not bothering them with we're not flooding them with messages and they will be less annoyed even if they are annoyed with my messages so try to not flood with messages to other people tip number 9 participate in group conversation sometimes we are there a lot of people in a group and why they are in that group because everybody is expecting a reply from you so maybe some uh, project we're discussing about something and then some participants can be totally silent they're like a ghost participant in there they have no participation in whatsoever so try to communicate try to participate sometimes even if you are bothered so you don't have to reply like actively reply to all the messages but you can say in one opinion like this is in my opinion this is what i think you are there for a reason people did not add you for no reason tip number 10 is be careful what you say because it's a whatsapp and sometimes we think it's in i mean it's personal and private yes it can be private but it can also be professional it can be formal it can be family it can be super personal with your loved ones but try to remember always it's dangerously easy these days to take a screenshot and just send it to the other people so keep your views polite diplomatic and straightforward but in a way you are not hurting any other person sometimes if you are disagreeing with some point that some other people has shared you can always say that i am sorry i don't necessarily think the same way but i appreciate your feedback and i think this way uh, we can do that project or you can do this and this way we can bring a uh, win win situation for everybody and if you are still around we have a bonus for you and that is respect respect is something that we can keep all the time for respecting someone they don't have to be senior to you you can respect everybody you can respect the animals you can respect the trees plants your house your your, your well being you can respect yourself so be respectful be mindful and uh, once you keep the respect in mind you will realize that no matter it's a formal group or an informal group or a family group you can maintain uh, uh maintain a stable balance all the time so this was our top tips for whatsapp etiquette though we are making only professional etiquettes today some day maybe we can make top whatsapp etiquettes both personal and professional let us know in the comments below if you have your own personal tips so we can include them in future thank you so much see you in the next video